So it's currently December 2023. I have no savings, no property knowledge, and no idea how I'm gonna do it. But in 2024, I'm gonna build my property business from zero to 100K. First of all, I wanna talk about my strategy. So I've got no prior experience in property, so I'm doing this as a complete beginner, um, and I'm gonna be documenting everything so that hopefully uh, you guys can learn something and see exactly where I get to, even if I make it into property. Um, and maybe learn some stuff along the way. The strategy that I'm gonna be employing is flips and buy to lets. Um, and I'm gonna be doing it in the South Wales area because I'm from South Wales myself. And I know that South Wales is quite a good area for investing in. The house prices in South Wales are fairly cheap and the yields are fairly high. And yield is basically um, a figure that you can calculate to see how good of an investment a buy-to-let property will be. First of all, I think it's important that I show you exactly what the buy-to-let strategy is and how I will be able to come in with a relatively low amount of money and recycle that money all the way up and scale my business. So let's just use an example that this property is £120,000. So if you get a buy to let mortgage, you need a 25% deposit, which equals 30,000 pounds. So that's how much money that you'd need for a deposit. Then I've done a little bit of research and I think you could do a refurb for 10,000 pounds and the legal fees may cost you somewhere around two and a half thousand pounds. So that means that the total money that you need to buy this £120,000 property and refurb it will be £42,500, roughly. So after you refurb the property, you're obviously looking to add value. So in this example, we can turn this £120,000 property into £160,000 by doing the refurb. So what this means is we've added 40,000 pounds in value, but that's not where the strategy ends because then our 42,000 pounds is left in the deal. So what we can then do is remortgage the property and the new mortgage will be obviously 75% loan to value. So it would be 120,000 pound mortgage with a 40,000 pound deposit which means we've already put in 42 and a half thousand pounds. So the total money left in the deal would be two and a half thousand pounds because we've pulled 40,000 pounds back out of the property, but it still doesn't stop there. So we've now added value to the property, but it can also give us a little bit of cash flow by renting out the property. So let's say we rent the property out for 80,000 pounds per month. Uh, obviously minus expenses like mortgage and bills if you're going to pay the bills. But not only that, if we kept the property for say 10 years, by looking at the historical data of the UK property market, our property will double in value. So you're probably wondering how am I going to fund my property investing? Um, and there are a bunch of ways that you can do this. You can raise finance from other investors. Um, any way that you can raise money, you can basically fund your property investments. You can get a bridging loan. Um, but for myself personally, I'm quite risk averse. So what I'd like to do is actually fund my first project myself, take on all of the responsibility, but also it's a lot less pressure than, you know, on your first project, you don't want to be going and messing up and losing someone else's money. Well, personally, I don't anyway. So. My strategy is actually to leverage my current skills and apply them in the property industry. So what I've done is created a business called Watkins Property Solutions. And what this business does is I offer digital solutions to property business to help growth. I'll do things like design a website, um, social media, do advertising, lead generation, email campaigns, and the difference that I have to any other web designer is I have worked in marketing for my whole career and I really believe that I can provide a holistic solution to a property business, especially property investors, deal sources and construction companies, things like that. Um, 
So you might get a web designer on Fiverr, but how are you then gonna implement the branding, the social media, the email, um, the lead generation machines? You know, one person on Fiverr, yeah, you might be able to get a decent website from them, but they don't understand your industry, your business, and the rest of the business marketing solutions that you need to go with that. So that's one way that I'm gonna try and increase my cash flow. Alternatively, I know people do a lot of strategy such as rent to rent, um, things like that within property, but personally, I'm gonna go a different route and leverage my current knowledge. Another way that I'm going to ultimately save more money is I'm gonna live below my means. So I'm not gonna do things like go on extravagant holidays. I'm not buying any new cars or anything like that, you know. Some people, they'll see success with business ventures or side hustles and they'll instantly go out and spend it on food, on clothes. I'm gonna purposefully try and live below my means. I pay my bills. I don't buy, you know, stupid things and that's gonna allow me to generate enough money to start my long-term goal. Because with me, I'm really thinking long-term here. This isn't just a quick business. That's why I'm going for the buy-to-let strategy because I really want long-term success for this business. So how am I gonna actually implement everything that I've told you? So I think with property, there is so much that can go wrong. I think the number one thing and the first priority is to get educated. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have reached out to a big property investor in South Wales. Uh, his name is Ben Hollingsworth. I'll leave a link to his website in the description, but he is the absolute best property mentor that I have found within South Wales or even within the UK. Um, he doesn't just offer you know, these online courses for a quick bit of cash. He really takes care of the people he mentors and he'll work with them tirelessly to achieve success for them um, and he's recently launched a pro program called the Concord Club which is a really good way to start getting your knowledge up in property um, and the Concord Club is not just an online course it's more like a an online mentorship community so you won't just be watching the videos you'll be on zoom calls speaking to Ben yourself asking him questions um, finding out the best deals, um, you get access to all of his trades and his trade supplies. So, you know, you might be worried about, oh, how do I do the refurb? Ben has got you covered. If you're in the Concord Club, if you're part of the community, um, it's a really good entry point into property, I believe. So I'll leave a link to the Concord Club in the description as well. So that's the strategy that I'm gonna to employ to go from zero to 100K in property. And I'm gonna try and do it all in one year. Now, I know that's a big task, but I truly believe that if you have a goal in mind and a vision that you can achieve pretty much anything. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm gonna be documenting everything on the channel. I'm gonna be uploading a few videos a week showing you wh what goes wrong, what goes right, and what I learned along the way. So if you do wanna follow the journey, and see if I make it, make sure you subscribe. And I'd love to hear anything in the comments below from you. As a quick side note, if you own your own property business and you're looking for a website or a holistic digital solution to run your business and generate leads constantly, do click the link in the description below and we can have a quick chat. Obviously no obligations, but it's great to meet new people anyway and just see if we'd be a good fit to work together. So. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.